The FEMA plans to imprison American citizens have generated a lot of interest around the country in locating the potential prison camps throughout the country or facilities that have other uses but which could be quickly used to detain large numbers of people such as this Amtrak facility in Beech Grove, Indiana. All of these apparent security measures are particularly unusual here because this is a very low crime area and this facility is nothing but an old train repair station with nothing in it worth stealing. In this portion of the parking lot is a brick building suitable for processing next to a gate that leads right out to the railroad tracks and all of this is contained inside a fully fenced area now three layers deep in fencing at this point. This U.S. Air Force train indicates federal and military involvement. Facing the opposite direction, you can see that this area, too, is a very large fenced area with railroad track running the length of the fence and plenty of warehouses. This small building is the only way into a particular fenced area. Inside this building, we see more of the motion-activated detectors, electronic turnstiles, and prison bars. Outside this building is fencing and a cattle run section of fence, all topped by barbed wire, pointing inward not to keep people out, but to keep people in. The other side of the building, you'll see signs that say red zone right up next to the railroad tracks that run the length of the fenced area. Next to the red zone sign, you can see closely numbered markers on the fences that are too closely spaced to be parking markers, just as if they plan to have people line up to board the trains. Looking around, you can get an idea of how huge this place is and how many people it could contain in its fenced-in area. In yet another fenced area, we see a large warehouse building at the end with the electronic turnstiles in front of it. The building is one that has a new concrete floor and its doors and windows have all been blocked. Outside there are new gas pipes Even as we were filming, a black helicopter flew over us, observing what we were doing, which has happened many times when we have been at the facility. The gas lines and gas pipes at the facility run the length of the buildings. and come out at some very, very large, brand new furnaces that have been installed at the buildings throughout the facility.
to Los Angeles, coming from somewhere else. And I sat next to this lady and she was telling me some things. I don't remember it verbatim, but I do remember some of the things she said. And it was like this. She said, Life as we know it is about to change. I smell it within the air, the weather is getting strange. Drugged up, sedated, and numb from the pain. The sickness in America has spread to her brain. She is no longer fit to make good decisions. She is completely blind and void of any vision. She parties hard and she keeps her conscious mind in prison. Therefore, she's headed for the ultimate collision. She can no longer hide the scars on her face. The innocence now gone is hard to replace. She has no shame, no remorse, or any grace. She embraces the devil and she hates over race. Miss America, the beautiful, the free, falling within the cracks. I wish that you could see she buried a misery within society. It's obvious you have no regard in me. That's why you caught up in the belly of America. Lost in the cell of America. Broken down in the bowels of America. a very bad girl. You nearly disgraced humanity in the eyes of the world. Vanity has took you over. You're not deserving. The mirror image of your reflection is quite disturbing. She makes so many promises she couldn't keep. She neglected to mother her young so they don't sleep. They scream out for justice and then they weep. We're not to blame, Miss America, is what you read. The audacity of your inventions to rule us all. The tragedy of your intentions to fool us all. You should have gained intonation and into the laws. It's only a matter of time before you fall. The things you should have worked out in your first colony. Took some of your own advice and your psychology. You've destroyed all around and the ecology. I'm sorry, but I don't accept your apology. I'm caught up. In the belly of America, lost in the stomach of America, broken down in the bowels of America, sinking in the garbage of America, stuck in the brain of America, suffering in the body of America, lying in the wicked spirit of America, dying in the old soul of America. Oh, Miss America, so much attraction that she has to take responsibility. We work around within the system and make adaptions So you can let freedom ring within your faction How can people still be hungry when there's a surplus? Suffering within your home, you made them worthless Damn near police the state and make us nervous Even though some conform and join your service Your presidency's the biggest joke, but where the laugh I always smell the gun smoke on your behalf I think I should send a telegraph to your staff America you're down and dirty, you need a bath. So tell your secret agents, don't be paranoid. This wasn't taught by Socrates or Sigmund Freud. This is simply God's work you can't avoid. Every nation ever built has been destroyed. Yeah. You caught up in the belly of America. Lost in the stomach of America. Broken down in the bowels of America. Sinking in the garbage of America. Stop. In the brain of America, suffering in the body of America, trying in the good old spirit of America, dying in the old soul.
six, I'm in the last inning. The world keeps spinning, my people steady losing while the bitches keep winning. It's like we never smiling, and the devil steady winning. Kill them, we'll be back in the second team, and our children and women too. Kids fall, living the fall, and under the law. Young team, showing them a dream, set it down for the call. Inducted up into the government's war. Is it for lands, for money, or all funny? How it does it? Thank <laughs> you.